Hey everybody, this is Red Ribbon, and welcome back to, uh, why did I say welcome back? Is this the first time you guys are even here? Hey everybody! Fuck. Hey everybody, this is Red Ribbon, and welcome to Pokemon Crystal version. Uh, this is a game very near and dear to my heart, and I really wanted to play it. Also, I kind of want to shake off the rust of not recording anything. Forever. I know that I've been uh, flip-floppy on it. Life has gotten away several times. And I decided, hey, why not play one of my favorite games from when I was a lad? Uh, here I am talking like I'm super old. Any <laughs> here, okay, I'm sorry. Let's get this show on the road before anything else happens. Uh, let's see. Real quick. That's better. Also, print. Whoa. Oh, man. Printing. God, I forgot there used to be a function for that. Uh, I'm not that old. I swear. But I feel super old. That's the problem. Hey, hey, quit telling these people how old I am. New game. Am I a boy or a- Hey! It is 2022. You cannot ask me that question. I'm a stick figure, first and foremost. I don't have a gender. Uh, but I always like- I always like the gold's design, so I'm always- I'm gonna run with that one. Hmm? What? You woke me up. Can you check the clock for me? Do it yourself, you lazy bastard. Uh, no, it's night time. Yes. Uh, about 8 of 3 where I am. Yep. What? Huh? 8 of 3? No wonder it's so dark. Yeah, no shit. Get your ass off the ground. Can't be sleeping this late. Oh, sorry. Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor, Prof. Pokemon Prof, not Professor, Prof. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. Aww, this stupid, stupid looking face. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. You know, better than most humans do. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about them. You, you read the text. There are still many mysteries to solve. Back in 1990, whenever this came out, I did not pay attention. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? Technically, his name be Gold. And I can't put Red Ribbon on here. And since this game is named Crystal, I'm gonna name you Quartz. You got a problem with that? Do bad, Quartz. Was this back in the era where everything was just super, super, like, always caps locked? Hope so. Oh, I could be edgy and give it a Z. What do you think? Should I be edgy? Should I give it that Z? What do you mean that's stupid? Fine. I hope I spelled Quartz right. <laughs> Ah, Quartz. Are you ready? No, not really. Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures. Pokemon... Uh, a world of dreams and adventures of Pokemon awaits. Let's go! I'll be seeing you later. In about, maybe... In the next episode or so. Ah, uh, this is my room. This is so much better than my actual room. My actual room's a fucking travesty. Oh, uh, it's in here. Quartz turned on the PC. What is this, a D&D &D adventure? Oh, uh, I was about to say, always check your PC, but I forgot. They didn't do that in this way. Hold up. Hold on. Turn the PC. Mailbox. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> cool. It's cool. Oh, 
courts, our neighbor's prof, Elm, was looking for you. I thought his name was Oak. He lied to me. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon, your Poke Gear is back from the repair shop. So next time you decide to make a stupid fucking video, try not to get hit by a fucking dirt bike. Here you go. Courts received the Poke Gear. Poke Gear or Pokemon Gear or just Poke Gear is essential if you want to be a good trainer in this game because they never brought that function back ever again. Oh, the day, the week. Oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? It's a Tuesday for me. Tuesday is it? Is it daylight savings time? As far as I understand, no. 806, is that okay? Come home and adjust your clock for daylight savings time. By the way, do you know how to use the Pokemon? Use the phone. It does not matter what you say to this woman. You can say yes or no. She will tell you how to do it anyway. So I'm just gonna say yes. Don't just turn on the Poke gear. Don't, don't, don't just turn the Poke gear and select the phone icon. Phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose a name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? Yeah, was this back in the time where people were talking about, like, like, cell phones and shit? I was born around this game's era, but I was... I was too young to remember that shit, man. Oh, hold up. Tech speed, fast. I am not gonna sit through that shit. And who are you? Good evening, Quartz. I'm visiting. Quartz, have you heard? My daughter is adamant about becoming becoming Prof Elm's assistant. She she really loves Pokemon. That's great. I love them too. Oh, oh look how dark it is outside. Ooh, day night cycle. Okay, I'll buy you. Who are you? So this is the famous Elm Elm Pokemon Lab. I could read. What the hell are you staring at? Well, aren't you just eight levels of rude? Quartz, there you are. I needed to ask you a favor. Probably not even close to how he's supposed to sound. I'm conducting new Pokemon research right now. I was wondering if you could help me with this. Help me with the Quartz. You see, I'm writing a paper that I want to present at a conference. But there are some things I don't quite understand yet. So... I'd like you to raise a Pokemon that I can that I recently caught. And the whole point of the game, so sure. Thanks, Quartz. You're a great help. When I announce my findings, I'm sure we'll do we'll delve a bit deeper into the mis many mysteries of Pokemon that we're still going into. Several games later. Several, several, several games later. You can count on it. Alright, what? Oh, hey, I got an email. Um, uh, huh. Okay. Hey, listen, I hate to throw you uh, another chore on top of raising an animal that'll literally depend on depend its entire life and well-being on you. But I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. Pretentious prick, ain't he? He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him, saying that this time it's real. It's intriguing, but we're busy with your, our Pokemon research here. Wait, hold on. I know. I can dump this whole mess on you. Quartz, can you go to go in our place? I want you to raise one of the Pokemon I contained in these balls. You'll be that Pokemon's first partner, Quartz. Go on, big one. Now, I know what you're thinking, and yes, Typhlosion would be a great choice. And do you want Totodile, the water Pokemon? Yeah, yeah. You'll take Cyndaquil, the fire Pokemon? Okay, you're kind of wasting my time. 
so you'll take. <laughs> so you like Chikorita the crap? No. Oh, I don't blame you. All right, everybody. Now, between the choices of the Fire-type Pokémon Cyndaquil, the Water-type Pokémon of Totodile, and the Grass-type of Chikorita, I'm gonna go with my personal favorite on this matter. Totodile! Okay, look, I know that thing has less brain cells than a brick wall, but I fucking love my dumbass. I wanna say Sun, but I don't know that yet. Yes, I'll take him. That's, that's a great Pokémon, too. I was a little worried when you when you went over the Chikorita, but that's fine. Would you like to nickname your Totodile? Yes. Okay, so he's a big old boy. So, what do I want to name him? Oh, I know what I'm going to name him. The same name I give every Totodile. Because I'm unoriginal. Oh, wait, no. This is back in the era where everything was freaking... Yeah, that's right. We're going... <laughs> I know how to spell, it's not ripe tide. <laughs> there we go. Here's his name. Riptide. I'm edgy as hell, shut up. Mr. Pokemon lives in a li lives a little beyond Cherry Grove. The next city over. It's almost a direct route. It's almost a direct route there, so you can't miss it. Just in case, here's my phone number in case you know you're kind of a dumb shit. Call me if anything comes up. Quartz got... Got Elm's phone number. I keep wanting to call him Prof Elm. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Feel free to use it anytime. Quartz, I'm counting on you. So yeah, I didn't never knew for a long time that this was basically a Pokemon Center, and we'll get into that in just a moment. But yeah, this little machine here, you can come to it anytime if you want to heal up your Pokemon. What do you want? Quartz, if you have the, if you have to have this for your you have to have this for your errand. Oh, uh, thanks, buddy boo. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, anyway. We have our new partner, who has an item. Give me that. Matter with you. This is our big old boy. Look at him, he's so dumb. He's so stupid, and I love him. Anywho, we have our new partner, Riptide, and I say this is a perfect place to stop. If you like this episode, please hit the like button. You want to see more of my stuff, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to know whenever I'm uploading, not that I ever do, hit the bell. You might be surprised at what I come up with once in a while. Also, I guess it's obligatory to now mention I own a TikTok. That's neat for anybody who cares. Check it out. You might love it. Or you might hate it. We'll find out. Bye bye